Hey guys, I'm just doing a little favour for someone on the highs forum and I thought I'd uh, video the process so that uh, you can see what I'm doing. If you don't know, I've got a, a repository on GitHub with um, libraries and modules I've built for use in highs and they're all either GPL licensed or public domain. There might be some other licenses in there, but um, basically if you open a file, uh, the license will be at the top and um, you can figure it out from that um, how it can be used. Anyway, so the um, the module I'm interested in today is uh, this mono mode one. Oh, by the way, the URL is uh, github.com slash David Healy slash highs dash scripting dash framework. So it's this mono mode module. So I'm just gonna copy the script from there and I've already set up a highs project. It's just got a sampler in here and I'm gonna add a script and I'm gonna right click and go load script from clipboard. It's important that you do that and you don't just press control V because if you press control V to paste it in it will just paste it all into the on init callback even the other callbacks like on controller and on timer they all end up inside on init which is not what you want. So make sure you right click and go load script from clipboard and that will put each bit of code into the correct callback. So this is just a, a simple mono mode script that I wrote. Uh, I think I wrote it for somebody else a long time ago, but um, I'll show you how it works. So with it off, I can play chords. And with it enabled, I can only play one note at a time. So I'll try and play a chord. So all I get and then I can do that and if I increase the time it will do um, a pitch bend between two tones. And I think my sustain pedal is held there or something so we've got a hanging note. Yeah. Okay so what said person on highs forum wants to do is I think they want to be able to uh, bypass the script and what they've got currently is on their interface they've rigged up a button to trigger this bypass button now the problem with that is if I hold a note down and then I I want to press the bypass button so the script is bypassed and now I'll release the note and what happens is the note hangs because it never reaches the on note off callback so you can't do it by bypassing this button um, or by activating that bypass button. So we're going to put a bypass button on the interface that they can use and um, it should solve this problem. So let's go into the script editor and I'm going to add a bypass button. I'm going to move this button over a bit. So this time, this time knob, sorry, I'm going to move that over and let's add a bypass button. Uh, Consvar btn bypass. Sorry if my typing's a bit loud, I've got a mechanical keyboard and I type quite hard. Um, let's call it bypass. And in fact, I won't give it the BTN. Let's call it bypass. Um, and that should show up. There we go. So now we've got a bypass button. So let's go to the on note callback. And first of all, we'll have an if statement in here that checks if that bypass button is active. So we'll say if, um, now let's see how to do this. Um, if it's not active, then everything proceeds. So we say if bypass.getValue and then put some curly braces and now all this goes inside the curly braces. Um, so if bypass.getValue so that's if it's active. So we need to put an exclamation mark to flip it around. So that should work. So let's test that first of all. Um, we'll just put a little console.print in here. So we can say hello. So we know we get there. So with it bypassed, we shouldn't see anything here. We get a hanging note again. Let's not worry about that for now. Okay, and if I unbypass it, we see hello. Okay, that's good. Um, right, let's delete that. Now let's go to the on note off callback 
and we want to do pretty much the same thing um, but we're gonna to have to handle the case if there's a hanging note so we say if bypass dot get value so that's for if it is not bypassed so the exclamation mark at the beginning there means not uh, I'll zoom in this code editor for you guys as well because sometimes it doesn't show up as well on um, different resolution screens this is a 2k monitor so um, it looks fine to me but it might not look fine if you're watching this on a 1k monitor um, right and then we're gonna have an else so this is for if it is bypassed and what we need to do we need to check if there's still a note playing and if there is turn it off we can't just do all notes off because that will interfere with other scripts so it's got to be to do with this specific script and this script uses um, whenever a note is played it puts it in this event ID variable and then when a note is turned off it sets event ID to minus one so all we need to do is check if event ID isn't minus one that means a note is still playing and then we can turn it off so we actually do this as an else if so if it doesn't equal minus one and that means a note must still be playing so we can turn it off and let's see I guess we can set these as well that looks like it should be useful I can't remember everything that this script does because it was a while ago that I wrote it okay let's try that so hopefully this will work so I'm gonna press a key and now I'm gonna bypass it so the bypassing works Okay, and now I'm going to hold the key and then press the bypass button. And then I'll, I'll release the key afterwards. So let's do that again. Yeah, so that works. So it um, stops any notes hanging. Let's try it with a little glide. Yeah, okay, that seems to work. That's all the testing I'm going to do. So, um, so yeah, that was pretty simple. Didn't take very long, and hopefully, I was able to pass on some wisdom of some kind. Okay, I'm going to update the script that's on GitHub now. So, if you want a copy of this, it's up there on GitHub. It is GPL licensed, so as long as your project is also using the same license, you can incorporate this code into your project, and. Um, that's about it so uh, thanks for watching uh, any questions or comments leave below the video on YouTube or send me a message or post them on the highs forum and I'll catch you next time